Jesus tells the Syrophoenician woman, when she comes, uh, she says, Jesus, you know, my son, or my daughter, I'm sorry, said, my daughter has a devil. She's vexed with the devil. And Jesus said, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Sounds kind of mean, right? He didn't help her. But then you have to realize that Jesus was fulfilling the promise that God made to Abraham, that the gospel had to go to the Jew first, then to the Gentile. Syrophoenician people were Gentiles, not Jews. So he had to go to the Jew first so he could be rejected, so then it would come to the Gentile. So that's why he did not respond to the woman. But notice the woman, whenever he turned to the woman, he said, it's not right to give the children's bread, children's bread, to the dogs. You hear that? What was he talking about? Healing, deliverance. Healing and deliverance is the children's bread. If you're a child of God, that's your bread. What are you supposed to pray? Give us this day. Daily healing, daily deliverance, whatever you need, today is a day of salvation. Amen? Do you get that? So, he told her, it's not right to do that. She said, yea, Lord, but even the dogs get the crumbs from the master's table. And he said, woman, you got great faith. So, now what is great faith right there? You know what great faith is? Not taking no for an answer. Yeah. Even when you think the answer, no, comes from God. Because Jesus was God in the flesh. Isn't that right? Yeah. So even if sometimes if you think God said no, you say, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Uh, you said all the promises in him are yes, and so be it. So you can't say no because God said, I will never change any word that's gone out of my mouth. So if you hear a no to a promise, it is the devil talking, imitating God, do not take no for, a, for an answer and push through and decide to push through no matter what. 